Check one, two, check. Check, check one, one, two, two check. check. Don't do that. I do anything, anything just to be with you. Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm my fiance Danny, aka A Drive. I bring you guys episode two of the Love Lock Let's Play. If you guys are just as excited as we are, show your love and that like button down below and definitely subscribe. If you are new, if you missed the last episode, check it out in the description below. You can take away the rest. Have fun. This is your episode. Go for it. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Dan, wait! Where are we going? Danny, wait! Where are we going? <laughs> You're so loud. <laughs> Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? You are your father's child, right? You look good. Oh, we should do the voices. You could do the female voices. I'll do the male voices. But ours are different. Mine are both females. No, I know, but you could do... Well, our characters don't ever talk, so... You know what I'm saying? They don't? No, our characters don't ever say anything. Uh -huh. So you can you could do the voices for all the female characters in the playthrough, and I'll do the male voices. And that way it'll be way better. This this is like a new thing. This is amazing. All right, anyway, we have our Pokeballs. Wait, I just, why does everyone stop us? Why can't we just play? <laughs> All right, so we got the Dex Nav Plus feature. So now we have the super duper awesome Dex Nav, right? Red of the Rock. Okay, so there's a couple cool Pokemon in this route. What Pokemon do you want to catch the most? It's got to it's gotta be the first Pokemon you encounter that's a female, so. Oh, um. well, here's my encounter. As long as it's a male, I will catch it. We shall see what it's going to be. It will be a Wurmple. And uh, let's see if it's a male or not. If not, I have to run. So okay. it is going to be a male. So I will catch my first Pokemon here. And uh, you can do the same if you encounter a wild Pokemon. I would actually recommend trying to get the Dex Nav one if you can. But you're going to have to get lucky that it's a female. But I can't. How can I Dex Nav if I haven't? Like, well, he's going to teach you how to sneak in a second. Oh, I knocked it out. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, so because I got a critical hit, that means we don't get an encounter on the first route. It's not my fault. A crit is a six point, I think, two five percent chance of happening. So a six percent well, chance. Well, these are stupid rules. I'm so now we can't even get a second Pokemon. Then we have to go to a gym. No, no, no. There's plenty of routes up ahead. Have no fear, honey. But yes, we so do I not. So I can't even get a Pokemon. Not right now. Not on this route. On the next route, you can though. I don't like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Oh, you know what's so stupid, guys? Route one is 100% encounter rate. I should have just thrown a Pokeball. Oops. Do you see the death glare I'm getting from her? Anyway, let's focus on our question today before uh, I get I get uh, the death stare. I just scared away the deck snap Pokemon too. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, we do have our question of the day, which was coming from Christy on uh, on Twitter. Christy says, "Where did you guys go on your first date?" So I'll let Danny focus on this uh, this deck snap here. But our first date was actually a no-brainer for us. Uh, we both happened to have the same favorite pizza place, right? Yes. You, I'm sorry. I know you're upset right now, <laughs> but you just got. I was focusing on slowly <laughs> navigating myself towards the Pucciana that I can't catch anyway. Okay. Well, luckily for us, there's a route right here, Route 103, and we can catch a Pokemon on Route 103. So I will I will do that right now. Whatever male Pokemon I encounter on Route 103. I will catch, and that's actually, I think it's the same exact Pokemon as the previous route, so no harm done. I could have had more Pokemon by the end of this game. I understand, but there will be plenty of routes for us to catch. So I found a Poochiana, so as long as it's a male, I will catch it. Um, let's see here, it is going to be a male, so I will catch it. Uh, I'm going to hopefully knock it out this time, not knock it out this time. Okay, I got a crit, man. You've played this game how many times, and you didn't know to just throw a Pokemon at that Wurmple? I didn't really think about it. Well, I got a critical hit, though, so in my it's defense... It's really important that you start to think. Thanks, babe. <laughs> As we move forward in our marriage, I'd like you to uh, think. Okay, so why don't, you, why don't you answer the question of the day, then? <laughs> On our first day... Well, I'm a little bit behind. You're off in some other route. Because I know. Just, well, you're okay, not waiting, fine. I'll answer. Just you're not you. waiting for me. So you're just going to go north to the route where we first had to meet Brendan, or in your case, Brendan. Uh, you can't catch a Swirlpool, unfortunately. But I did catch a Poochiana. I'm aware. All right, so our first date, we ended up going to a pizza place, which actually was both of our favorite pizza place. And uh, we actually lived in different towns growing up, about a half hour away from each other. So it's actually kind of funny that it was my favorite pizza place. It was understandably hers because she grew up in that town. But for me, I just happened to play in a band that was in that town that we always got pizza from there. So, and, and she knew the people that I was in the band with. And we just, I feel like we probably met each other. I think we met. At one point, while I we were had in a psychic high tell me we met, so I think we met. I think we met too. I think we actually had met at one point before, 
uh, at, at you know while I was in a band or whatever. I don't know, like at something, because I was in her town so often, uh, pretty much every single day for like two years almost. And there, it's just it's just very very unlikely that we didn't run into each other in that small town. I mean. Uh, whether it was at the pizza place one day, whether it was at, you know, uh, something else in the town, maybe like an uh, ice cream place, something. I mean, it, there was a pretty decent chance that we must have run into each other. So that was pretty much our first day. We went and got pizza, buffalo chicken pizza, of course, which happened to be both of our favorite pizzas. And uh, that definitely brought us together. We had some amazing <laughs> buffalo chicken That pizza. was it. And yeah. here we are. And here we are. <laughs> After all that, here we are. All right, so are. is this the next, this is yes. the next route? So whatever okay. Pokemon you encounter here, the first one you encounter that's a female, you'll be able to catch. So you just run in the grass. You don't have to go up to the top. It doesn't really matter. Well, I want to get to a different area than you were in. Oops. It's, it's well, the same exact. It's, it's the same. There we go. I just got All to right. it. <laughs> All, right. All right. It's got to be a girl. It's a wingle, which is pretty cool. And will it be a girl or will it be a boy? That's the question. It is a girl. It's a it's, girl. I swear, this is going so it's perfect. It's a girl. All right, you get to catch this thing. All right, I can so, just throw a ball, right? Yeah, or you can try to weaken it with uh, with tackle. I'm a, I'm level seven. I would seven. say play it safe. Yeah, play it safe. Okay, so I have to come up with a nickname for Poochiana, but I've been holding off on the nickname because I know Danny is going to want to come up with a nickname for the oh, Wingle. Oh, Slash, maybe it would be nice if I could catch up to you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to come up with a nickname for Wingle and Poochiana with the alliteration. So what are you thinking? Because Poochiana, my default name is Turbo, which is my dad's uh, German Shepherd. Um, and they kind of look similar. Yes, they both have black so, faces. Do you have a T name for Wingle, or did you have another idea for your Wingle nickname? I, I gotta, I gotta look at him. Okay. I, I gotta, I gotta look at him and feel the name. Okay, we'll let Danny focus here. Dig deep. <laughs> oh, you know, so oh well, no, this isn't Master T. This bird actually reminds me a lot of um, a bird that Eric and I, my brother, had when we were kids. Its name was Doyle. Doyle. Okay, I like that name. You can go with Doyle. But then and you have to rename your dog. Yeah, you need to give me a nickname for dog. Not dog. Oh, boy. I could name him Dylan. Well, so this is is a female named Doyle, though? Oh, you're right. I forgot. It's a girl. Yeah. Uh, it can't be Doyle, then. Yeah. So I was going to do Turbo. You could do... Turbo. Tulip? Uh... I know. I should have thought about this in advance. You can't plan out these things, honey. You can't. You can't. Um, it's a girl. Do you want to do a quick video cut while you brainstorm? Yes, cut the video. <laughs> okay. All right, now you got to think of it. <laughs> we are back. And I, I will explain to you the names. So I allowed him, allowed him, I let him keep his turbo name and found a T that matched. So here's my logic here. This is a love lock. Obviously the focus is the fact that we're getting married. Married has diamonds. What do you think of when you think of diamonds? Tiffany's. So we're naming it Tiffany. I will say that the diamond that she has is not from Tiffany's, but it makes sense. So we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna check out my turbo here. We got Tiffany, we got Guppy, we're in the E, 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 E. My turbo is a re relaxed nature. He takes plenty of siestas. How's your Tiffany and your your uh, guppy doing? I don't know. How can I tell? Uh, you could hit the Pokeball. X button and check your Pokemons. X. Pokemons. All right. Let's check them out. Let's yeah, check out what your good. natures are. Oh, you got to click on them. Summary. There you go. Nature. All right. What do you got? So you are actually a pretty bad nature or mudkip. Uh, you are jolly nature for Mudkip. Where does it say that? Um, well, if you go over there, you can see it says jolly. How did you know it was jolly? Because Before you could see, uh, if you look at the stats, the SP attack is in kind of a blue color, and yeah. speed is in a red color, so the red color means the stat is increased, the blue color means the stat is decreased, so I know that when you have a nature that's minus special attack plus speed, that, that's a jolly nature. Wow, you're, you're brilliant. And then what's your next Pokemon? It's somewhat of a clown. <laughs> <laughs> you can press it down, uh, I think, to see the next one. And yours is Hardy, which is a neutral nature, so there's Hardy. no- Hardy. There's no difference. <laughs> there's no difference. But I have good news, honey. We get to catch a new Pokemon on the next route. Are you ready? Pokemon. Are you ready to catch another Pokemon? I am ready. You're so ready? All right. There's some, some Tiffany's right. flying above where, my where, head. Where do, where, what direction am I going in? Here. Uh, you're gonna go south and then to the left. To the left, to the I gotta get an encounter. Ooh, there it is. It's a Zigzagoon. Do I want it? I'll take it. I'm going for the Zigzagoon. 
in the dex nav. But I'm going south and then... To the left, yeah. All right, so this is going to be my counter. As long as it's a male. If it's a female, it doesn't count. We'll see what we got here. It is a zigzagoon. But will it be male or female? Look at all the wingles going by! Did you see all the wingles fly by? I did. Am I on the next route? Yep, so you can go into the patch of grass up top there and catch Pokemon. That trainer is going to battle you. Am I going to die? I don't think so. I think you'll be okay. But you'll have to make sure you get a Pokemon. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I have to wait for you to catch a Pokemon to nickname mine. Although, I think I have to name mine Bendito. So you're going to have to pick a B name for whatever you get. I'm, I'm going to make the executive decision on this one. But from this one, the next couple Pokemon we catch, you get to pick your I'm name I'm afraid first. of this youngster. Calvin? Oh, you could be Calvin. Calvin's a rookie. I'm, like, just very nervous battling everyone now. Well, unfortunately, I just don't want to lose my little babies. You'll be okay. He's only level four. You're level eight. But I do want to make a recommendation that uh, we are going to get the experience here soon, so that soon, so that'll help. But you are going to want to try to use as many of your Pokemon as you can because they're all going to be very important to get through. Okay, this what should through. I use against a Zigzagoon? Well, Zigzagoon's normal type. So remember what I told you about the damages. Which one's going to yeah, be better? Yeah, that was grass. I know. So normal water is oh, neutral. so water is going to be sixty. Yep. And tackle will only be 40. Yep, that's it. Look at me. Oh, it's brilliant. You're doing great, babe. It's brilliant. All right, I'm going to call this one Bendito, because that's my name for Zigzagoon. And I just got to go with it, my little Bendito. And whenever you find a Pokemon to catch, you can name it with a B if you would like to. And hopefully it'll get linked with something. Hopefully it'll get... We're going to have to cut the video again. This, na this naming is intense. <laughs> But I'll have to, um, maybe I'll just, like, if I can get myself in the mindset of relating everything back to, like, love and marriage and, and stuff, that'll kind of, like, limit focus, the name focus, pool. Then focus, hone yeah. in a little bit. All right, fair enough. Fair I enough. get $64 You're... for beating a kid. All right, so now we got to get your Pokemon. So I'm hoping that you get something cool here. Oh, there's a Zigzagoon, too, so you can actually it. go for that one. I don't want it. Why don't you want it? Because I don't want the same thing as you. It's no fun. Ooh, what was that? I don't know, you're scared of the way, but you're going to want to get something here. Can I go by this guy with the net, or is that dangerous? He's going to battle you if you do. So I shouldn't? Wow, this... But then I have to go by him eventually, don't I? Yes, but I, I want. I would like you to catch your Pokemon now, so that way I know whether I can use my Pendito or not before I continue. Because if, if you don't catch it? Pokemon, then I don't get to use them. Oh. And there's a C-Dot! What do they become? Uh, Shift Trees, but is it a female is the question. Yes, it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is this is amazing. All right, see, so he actually, I would recommend just throwing a Pokemon. He's not going to attack you. He only knows the move Bide, so I would imagine. Wow, he's a really useful Pokemon. I really look forward to our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little C dot man, get in the He's hit. not going to do anything to you. He's he he can't do nothing. Oh, he's got Harden. Okay, so yeah, you could go for you could go for Water Gun. It won't kill him. He's he's Are a Grass sure? type. Yeah, he's a Grass type. It won't kill him. It's your fault if All you right. can't use that Bendito. Trust me, I want to use Bendito, even though Bendito doesn't have any attacking moves. He's up there. I told you. All right, you could do Water Gun again, but you run the risk of the critical hit knocking him out. So you, you don't think the, the Pokeball will catch him? I don't want you to waste all your Pokeballs. I would say I would say go for another Water Gun. I think you're safe. I think you're safe. I feel confident in this decision. Because it's only going to do 1.5 times. Yeah, see, Ooh. you're good. If it was a crit, though, that probably would have knocked him out. But you're good. So now all you have to do is throw a Pokeball. You get to catch him, and you can name him something with a B. I know. And he'll be added to our team. Okay, so he's a tree when he gets bigger? Yeah, he turns into a big tree. It's kind of ugly, though. I always call mine Pinocchio, but that doesn't help you here, because... Oh, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not helping here. All right. So it has to be a B? You got to catch him. There you go. Bean. I was thinking of calling him Beans. Why? Because he's a little bean. But I understand that that's not the greatest name ever. What are you thinking? You need to brainstorm. Do we have to do another cut? It's okay if we do. I just have to beat bit this uh, this Zigzagoon. No pressure. It's okay. It's just a nickname for a Pokemon that you'll have with you for the next, you know, 30 hours of us playing. It's no pressure uh -huh. at all. Oh. <laughs> so it's got a. It has a little beanie on. Oh, it's beanie. You're right. It's beanie. Ah, I threw the thing. <laughs> Get over there. She got so excited, guys. She threw her stylus, <laughs> chucking it out the window over here. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so beanie is. Okay, is is a beanie like a hat spelled the same way as a bean with an I E at the end? Um, I'm gonna I'll look on my phone, but I'm pretty sure. I would imagine a beanie is B E A N I E, right? A beanie is a seamed cat cap. Yep, it's a, Sweet. It's a cap. Beanie, Guppy, Tiffany, and Beanie. Makes me think of Miguel. No, no, no. There's only there's only one E at the end. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Oh, that's confirmed. Don't hit it, don't. Oh, it's Beanie with two E's. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Beanie, Beanie. with two E's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't I, realize I, I hit the E twice. And yeah, it's okay. That that one little arrow there to confirm, always, I always feel like that's like the, the back button. Where the too. backspace should yeah, be, yeah. It's weird. But what are you going to do? All right, well, we're both taking on Bug Catcher Joe or whatever his All name right. is. All right. Since you think in the form bug of a bug catcher, Rick. you're going to help me out. Okay. Oh, is that what you look like as a little baby bug catcher? I guess so, honey, yes. I, <laughs> I guess so. Um, <laughs> see, I'm trying to use turbo here. I'm trying to get uh, turbo some action. You got to trade yeah, up Yeah, but all then the if Pokemon. I switch it in, then it gets hit. Yeah, no, but... Uh, I should rotate them. Yeah, so you're going to want to, like, kind of... I mean, in this case, you could probably just beat it with Guppy, but it, it is going to be a good idea to start using some of the other Pokemon. I have to reorganize them. Like, then. I don't want to have to do the switch keys. Well, one of the common... Is this a grass? No, uh, he's a bug type. Just pure bug. One of the common strategies that you use at this point in the game is you send out a Pokemon like your Tiffany at the beginning, and then and and instead out. of, yeah, instead of Tiffany having any sort of battle, you just switch it out immediately into your strongest Pokemon, because you know your strongest Pokemon can take a number of different attacks, because he's so strong. And that way you can kind of level up everything. Once we get the experience share, it's not as big of a deal, because everything will kind of level up, but... It's definitely going to be a good idea to try to level up everything slowly. Because otherwise, if you if you end up just using uh, Guppy, you're going to end up having a hard time later on in the game. So, I think you could do it, though. I have faith in you. I have faith. Do you have faith? Look at Guppy, level 9, learning Mud Slap. Powerful. Powerful. Turbo's got Runaway, so I can just run away from everything. Look at me go. I'm excited to have a Turbo on my team. I like Poochie in this. All right. Wild counters. Okay, so I up? want to switch my Pokemons around. Yes. Yeah, Tiffany's definitely your lowest level, but definitely oh, gonna Beanie's be- Oh, Beanie's so hurt because I beat him up. Yeah, he'll be okay. Just just keep him, keep him safe for a little bit. I wouldn't use him in a battle right off the bat. I would hold off. All right, you gotta take on this little trainer over here. This little guy? Yeah, Youngster Alan. Hi, Alan. Alan! 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's that from the little meerkats or whatever? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they are. Little gopher type things. Yeah. Alan! Alan! That's funny. And then there's the second name, too. Steve! Steve! Isn't it Steve? I think it's Steve. Steve! <laughs> I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> Something like that. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, you could probably just go into YouTube and type in Alan! Alan! And <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get the video. You'll get it enough. All right, so I would definitely switch out Tiffany here. You don't want Tiffany taking on this Poochiena. And you just go straight into Guppy. There you go. And then, so Guppy will do all the fighting for you, but uh, <laughs> Tiffany will get some levels. <laughs> Tiffany will actually be really, really good for you if you can get it to level up a few levels because it learns some pretty good moves. And the second gym is fighting type, so you'll have an advantage. Yes! You got to think long term here. 20 yes! episodes in. Yes! <laughs> yeah. All right, what do I use? Uh, water gun. Mud Slap's not a very strong move, but it lowers your opponent's accuracy, so it's actually kind of nice, but you're not a ground type yet. When you evolve, you turn into a ground type, so. All right. I'm actually, guys, I'm, I'm actually really excited to play through a game with, uh, with a Trico. If you guys saw the last time I played through Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, it was my man Joey, and my Trico got bodied in the first uh, two episodes, I think. <laughs> so All right, well, I'm not letting my mud kip go down so you better hold your end of the bargain all right i'll make sure that trico stays alive staying alive staying alive uh, mm, 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 staying alive all right so it's level two taylor so you can either so i should switch and then switch someone else in yeah if you want to that would work i think actually your wingle could probably beat the taylor at level three it's only level two so you could send out tiffany i, I feel confident in tiffany's ability to destroy a little, little You better Taylor. be right. I don't little, want to lose any Pokemon. Little Taylor Swift. I don't want you to lose any, because if you lose a Pokemon, I lose a Pokemon too. I'm I don't want that I'm to like happen. I'm like seriously attached to them. I understand, and I, I'm going to be attached to them too. I don't want any Pokemon going down, ever. Bird on bird. All right, your bird's better though, so you could just water gun. 
He's gonna, yeah, you're even faster too. You're gonna destroy this thing. Boom. Oh yeah, destroyed. I mean, that was a solid amount of damage there. Look, he did three to you, and you did like at least at least six, at least six damage. I didn't do it. Tiffany did. Tiff, yes, Tiffany <laughs> did. But you you taught Tiffany the ways. Uh, what a team we are. <laughs> Don't break that team. I, I won't. <laughs> well, I'll try not to anyway. I, I just think that you're more of a risk taker. I like to be safe and and keep my family together. I actually, trust me. I don't want to lose any Pokemon either. You know, it's it's. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to go through the conversation we have to have off screen when I have a Pokemon faint on me. How <laughs> dare you? What are you thinking? I'm gonna get yelled at, man. All right, Tiffany's looking powerful over there. Look at her go. Level four. He's got the little Band-Aid on his nose. Look at him. Oh. What a champ he is. I got thirty-two dollars. You're making the money right now. How cool would it be if this was his, money. like? How cool would it be if this was your job? You got to walk around with little Pokemon, and you made. There's a, that is a trainer, by the way. You walked by, right? So if I you want to, you don't have to. You could skip her if you want, but no, I like to train my Pokemon's up. All right. Hey, girl. Girl on girl action. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Really? <laughs> I'm fighting. Girl fight. It's about to be I don't a think Tiana, girl fight. I don't think Tiana wants to have a girl fight. I think Tiana just wants to battle with her Pokemon. Okay, well, her and her Zigzagoon. We're about to get get destroyed by uh, Tiffany. I'd be careful, though. I, I would definitely switch definitely out. switch out. Yeah, you gotta switch out. A little too risky there. Come here, Gup. Gup, Guppity Gup. Gubby's getting low, too, so be careful there. You told me to go back and fight this guy, girl, chick, lady. Thing. I know, I know. You're fine. You'll, you'll beat her. I doubt her tackle's gonna do that much. Yeah, it did four. You're fine. You Ow. just, you just water gun. Look at the pretty butterflies flying by. Get out of my house! Oh no. <laughs> A lot of people ask on Twitch <laughs> what the "get out of my house" <laughs> emote is. That's it right there. Cause get Danny, my house. Danny just randomly says, "Get my house." Well, not randomly. I mean, you're you're actively trying to tell. Well, this the... it came up because of me playing through the first time. Yes, exactly. Good night, Zigazagoon. All right, so we have one little objective here to do before we wrap up the episode. And it's very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to Petalburg Woods, or Petalburg City, I'm sorry, and we're going to talk to our father in the game, and he is going to have us help our friend Wally catch a Ralts. That's what we're going to do. You're so far ahead of me. I don't even know I'm where I'm going. I'm not even I'm that far going. ahead of you. Just go to the left, and we're caught up. What, what is Brendan doing here again? Let's Just let me walk away, See, Brendan. See, I'm standing right here. You're right next to me. You're right next to me. I kind of want to get a deck snap encounter. Just in case I find a shiny. Let's see what we can find here. Let's see if I can find a, a shiny Zigzagoon real quick. While I'm waiting for you. So, so this is how this is going to be? Well, I'm just going to shiny, shiny hunt. hunt while you wait for me. Oh, look at all the little butterflies going by. <laughs> <laughs> look at them. I don't, I don't really know why we're watching them. Brendan, don't you realize I have other things to do with my day? I'm like getting Doesn't married he realize, in five days. Yeah, I'm saying you're getting married in five days. You have other things to do. You know, you're taken, first of all. I know. You're like, get out of my face, Brendan. All right. This is so never going to work out. So now what we're going to do is you, you're going to want to heal, I would say. It's a safe bet. I'm going to check out some of the other houses around town just to see if any of them have anything good in them. I feel so far behind. I just can't play. You're not as even fast far behind at all. You. You're not. Well, no, don't worry about it. You're. We're in this exact same town. Yeah, I, but I, you've been shiny hunting. You're look, You're having time babe, to look in houses. I didn't shiny hunt. I, I, I'm I, still <laughs> trying to get my Pokemon's back in shape. I'll slow down a little bit. Don't worry. I'm not. I didn't. I did one encounter. It's okay. All right. So you can go first. You can go into the gym first. Bam. There you are. Is not bad. It was a good battle. Thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me any time. I'll look forward to see. Uh, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna do special training with my Pokemon. Then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. All right. Hmm. Why, if it isn't Dan and Danny? So you finished moving in? I see. Well, I guess we shouldn't stand around here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We could talk in the gym. You're ahead of me. I'm trying because you always get so ahead of me. I'm just letting you sit there and talk to yourself. Now I'm racing. It's all of a sudden. It's it's a versus now. It's a versus nonstop. We're racing each other. <gasps> Does he still give me a, a shiny Matang? 
No, unfortunately not, honey. That was just part of the very first time we played? Yeah. So Danny's first playthrough of this game, she ended up getting the Shiny Beldum from the event when Oras first came out. And that so was one of her favorite Pokemon. Anything? Nope. We do have to help Wally catch a Pokemon, though. So Wally gets a Zigzagoon. Wally and... looks like he's like eight years old. It's probably because he's about 10. I thought, well, I always thought Wally was an adult. Nope. He does not look like an adult here. No, he grows up throughout the game. I mean, he's not an adult now, but he gets he gets older. All right. So we have. There to... you go. Still ahead of me. I, I can't. I can't win. I can't. It's win. not a race. It's okay. It's not a race. I'm here to help you. I'm here to be your teammate. Smile. Let's keep going. This is just a tutorial. He's gonna catch it himself. You can just press A a bunch of times. We don't even do anything. We just watch him catch a Ralts. Wally is uh, one of our rivals in the game, of course, and we have to help him catch this little Ralts here. All right, Wally, here's what you're gonna do. Why don't you teach him? You're gonna fight the Pokemons. Yep. Then you're gonna throw a Pokeball at the Pokemons. Yep. And then the Pokemons will get in the ball. Little does he know that that Ralts can't even see what's going on because the helmet's too big for his head. <laughs> So it's gonna be a really easy Pokemon to catch. He's not even gonna see the ball coming. <laughs> I think you bring up some pretty valid points here. <laughs> it does seem He's as like, though. Oh, it's good. I'll just throw some battles. I'm over the ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about Rolts that you didn't mention is Rolts is actually what typing. Does he does he look bugger grass? He looks like a, a white. Ghost blob with a helmet on. He's psychic and fairy. Oh, so he's not ghost type and blah type and <laughs> he's not. Type? He's not ghost <laughs> blob or helmet type. He's actually psychic and fairy type. So even how with, was I supposed to tell? I don't know. You looked at me like, oh, no. No, I'm testing you in your <laughs> Pokemon knowledge here. We're gonna teach you. So you you know one of your favorite Pokemon when is. When did the, you get back to the gym? The ballerina Pokemon, right? Yes. That's Ralts' evolved form, Curlio. Yes, I know that. Okay. And there's also a boy form. Uh, after that, there's Gardevoir and then Gallade. Oh, they're not separate? Oh, no, it's Ballerina it's a, yeah, it's and then it's separate. Yeah, okay. exactly. All right. So we did help Ralt Wally catch his Ralts, and uh, he's going to be a happy guy from there. And I think we're good. We're going to get the Pokedex Nav Plus. And I think we're pretty much ready to rock here. I think we're good. We're almost, we're almost there. So the next episode will be us traveling into Petalburg Woods. I don't know if we'll make it through Petalburg Woods, but we'll certainly give it a solid go, and we'll kind of see where we're at there. And uh, I think that's that's all we gotta do for this episode, honey. I think we're good. I'm gonna heal up, though. I think, actually, my team's already healed. Is it? Yeah, my team's already healed from last time, so I don't even have to heal up. But we are gonna have to head to Rustboro City and challenge the next gym. So that is our next objective, guys. So that is gonna be it for us, guys. My name is Dan. I'll by Adra. This is my fiance, Danny. She's goes, still trying to get to, uh, where, where's the Pokemon Center? Me. Where's you're the Pokemon Center? Well, you gotta go backwards. The Pokemon Center's in the town. Down. While Danny's looking for the Pokemon Center, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up this episode, guys. So thank you again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs> Peace.